Jurassic World. I know you're super stoked. You love the last one. You thought it was pretty much the greatest movie of that year. I think that's, um, the, that's the quote of mine that ended up on the box yeah, of the Blu-ray. Actually, yeah, definitely yeah. what they wrote on the box. Yeah, absolutely. They forgot um, that is not. That <laughs> yeah, there's an ellipsis before <laughs> the, the and after. <laughs> nope, nope. You're just you're in denial. Um, but we have some something interesting came out recently um, with Jurassic World. What do we got going on? Uh, there was a short movie that just kind of came out of nowhere, at least for me. I don't remember hearing rumblings that they were making this at all uh, and then they just dropped it on i saw it on twitter i don't know if it was like a monday night football thing or or what it happened was on fx was it on fx okay yeah it so was on fx maybe like with the uh cable premiere of one of the movies or something like that they were dropping it mm-hmm. but um it is a short sort of meant to take place after the events of fallen kingdom jurassic world 2 um <laughs> and at the end of fallen kingdom if you haven't seen it spoilers turn it off but you know what don't even go watch it i'll just tell you how it ends the dinosaurs run away into like north america united states and just like get to do stuff so it's truly a jurassic world now they're out in the world or at least united states seven of them are 1.3 billion globally for uh, Jurassic World 2. So don't listen to Brian. Yeah, I mean, like, that's just everybody seeing it the first time, be like, you know what, this stinks. Um, and not going back and seeing it. I don't know. I'm, I didn't like it. Jared loved it. I don't even actually remember if he loved it or not. But I anyway, enjoy it. but anyway, the, um, the short takes place, uh, undisclosed amount of time after, uh, the sequel. A year. A year. It's actually, okay. it is disclosed. Okay. There you go. A year, um, and you didn't even watch it. No, um, it's in the article. <laughs> but there, there are. I don't. I don't recall it being on the screen. But I'm sure somebody will tell me that it was. Fair enough. But there, there's people camping we'll around a campfire. There's a the notes. a family with a uh, a camper, and then another guy, uh, like fellow camper, sitting around a campfire, and they're just talking and stuff. And then dinosaurs start fighting around them, and and chaos ensues. Um, production value looked pretty good. Uh, like movie quality it looked it looked like a big screen dinosaurs like the cgi was good on the dinosaurs stuff like that it was a um i don't know an allosaurus and some triceratops like fighting um and a baby set triceratops which was cute huh. like the mommy was protecting the baby from the Aww, allosaurus baby triceratops but um so it actually looked kind of cool um and maybe like where Jurassic World needs to hook me in is like these little one off stories of people that I don't know just experiencing dinosaurs in the wild. Because when you throw in like the sci fi black market auction house uh, to buy dinosaurs to make them super weapons for, you know, militaries around the world is where it kind of loses me a little bit. But if you just have dinosaurs yeah. in the wild doing dinosaur things, that's kind of where it draws me back in. Um, so Jared, you saw this as well. Oh wait, no, you didn't. Um, but wow, thoughts on my desc- wow, bro. thoughts on my description or, or like I don't know. Does this First sound cool to you? You gonna go watch it I after the show? I didn't know I could watch it. So back <laughs> off. I didn't know it was a thing to. I'm just watch. preempting I the, just the YouTube comments. That's all I'm doing. I'm just preempting the YouTube. Oh yeah, comments. yeah. Because getting there before they on get something there. Something I haven't seen. Yeah. Um, how dare you comment? How on... dare you? So does the, does this sound cool? Something you'd be interested Absolutely, in watching? And bro, or... I'm gonna watch it when the show's over. Did you? I don't remember after after the second movie. Were you down with the whole idea of like where they were going with the dinos in the wild oh, yeah, and all that sure. stuff. And how no, I was, I was, I was 100% excited for that to, to see uh, how it progressed. Um, you know, since this takes place a year after I'm curious how far after, farther back. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm. is it, are we talking five years later I or think, are we talking? I think know? they sort of hint. I don't know that they gave us an exact number, but after, after the second one came out, I thought that they dropped the information at like, no, it's not going to be direct continuation. It's going to be at it, some time after the dinosaurs mm, are like acclimated and sort of correct taken. Yeah, in. we had we had received that information. I just don't know what that time frame is, but maybe I, not quite like the planet of the the newer planet of the apes where right. everything's destroyed taken over. Right. But they're like part of the ecosystem now kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, I'm curious to see where it goes with it. Um, I 
unlike Brian, I did enjoy the second one. I, I, I understand why he didn't, but my take on movies is different than his. And so I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't the greatest one. I thought the first uh, Jurassic World was was better. I liked than the, the first one. Jurassic World. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did like the first one a little bit better, but I, that doesn't. Although mean that poor know. woman that got carried away by the pterodactyls, I still <laughs> feel so bad for her. Hole. Yeah. Like <laughs> that was just mean. Like it's we have just... to have a memorial service. We had to sh- follow her for three minutes as she's screaming in the sky. <laughs> it was a long away. time. <laughs> it was a really long time that, that we driving that point home. We watched her. Yes, they wanted us to know that she was dying. Yeah. Um. Anyway, but uh, no, I'm I'm excited for it. I, I I am excited to actually watch this movie as soon as we get done with the show and to check it out. Um. But uh, I was I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm looking forward to the to the next movie. Jason, what do you think? I haven't seen it, so I can't speak to what they've done with it. But taking um, off of what I recall of the last movie, I wasn't a huge fan of the direction they took that in. So I would say that I feel less than positive about where it's going because it's continuing on that path. And I think that path is one that I am not excited about. Um, that said, I give everything a fair shake and if they can make an interesting story out of it, then, you know, great. Um, but I, I don't love that arc and I, I thought it was kind of just meh. What if they pulled a Buster Scruggs and just ditched all the, like the big name actors and stuff and just did like five little short stories of various people encounters people with, with dinosaurs, dinosaurs out eaten. yeah that not getting eaten necessarily but like maybe some of them <laughs> maybe are... some of them get eaten maybe so... some of them make friends okay. yeah they make friends with a dinosaur like it comes in their yard and they feed it like people i do like this deer. idea yeah yeah i mean it, I, that's the thing like they could make it interesting somehow or make it more interesting um it's it's up to them to to make those decisions and i just feel as though i'm not hopeful that that's going to be the case but you know We'll see. You know, more time needs to pass. We need some more trailers. And I need to watch this video to, to really get a flavor for where they're taking it. Um, but, you know, like I said, it sounds like they're forging ahead. So hmm. they most definitely are. Mm-hmm. It made a one point three billion dollars. So, yeah. So they're, you know, someone likes that movie. <laughs>